Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I wanted to come on and do a, a pretty quick share with you today. I, you know, for days where you feel like you want to craft but you don't have a lot of time or you just want to do something creative and you're just not feeling up to doing a whole lot, that's when I kind of pull out my stamps and go nuts stamping um, a bunch of images on my cardstock. And then I keep them in uh, one of my bubble mailers just to keep them so, uh, safe from bending and kind of dust and stuff like that. Um, so I just kind of went through and stamped the whole lot out. And as you can tell, these are Samal Girl. Yes, I love my Samal Girl stamps. Um, oh, and there's some Tilly Inks too, which I was gifted from Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. And this is just so I always have something on hand to kind of color up. Um, just kind of the mood strikes me. <laughs> and I took, um, this weekend I visited my sister and I took these images with me just for something extra to do along with my knitting and I did get a little knitting done. Um, that I figured I'd post more along the lines when things are finished or I got like a decent amount done. So it's not like an overkill for everybody. But if you do, if you are interested in seeing it, check out my information and my about box on YouTube. And I'll give you the links to different site, um, social media sites I'm on. And I'm on Instagram all the time. So if you want to see what I'm up to, Instagram is the best place. Um, but I did buy some ink tense pencils. I did buy um, the 12 set because I didn't want to put the investment out there because I have so many pencils, so many um, art supplies really because I'm more into drawing and um, stuff like that. But going digital here shortly, I'm hoping. Um, and I just played around with them and I colored this whole sheet in because it was super fun. <laughs> I got addicted and I love the ink tense pencils and I know it's not going to show up all that great I guess but like I said these are all some old girl images and I colored them up and the cute little puppies which I think came out really cute and I love how the ink tense pencils um, blend. You do kind of have to be have a quicker hand with them and know what you're going to do because um, once this ink dries it's dry there's no going back to wet it to get it to bleed out more you can layer more layers to even the tone out but um, like see here you can see this harsh line and that's fine in cartooning um, or stuff like that because the shading sometimes there is that dark line but sometimes you want a soft blend so you get something more that transitions really nice and flows nice um, there is a little bit of a learning curve to them because you can see here these are the first ones I did and you can see it wasn't kind of quick enough to blend out that line but like I said it's these are kind of cartoony and it still looks nice um, it's just not the desired effect that I was looking for but I really do like how you know three quarters of them turned out so I am going to probably on a day when I want to do something else a little crafty, I might just cut a few of them out and have them set aside. So when I want to make a card or something, it's easier. I'll have some images set aside. I could just pull out and have them ready to go for a card or a project. But I hope you guys like my share. And thank you for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. And I hope to see you all soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.